In this video, I will explain how to make a plate with conical patch. Okay, so on the way, uh, what I am saying you will understand. In this process, you will find some basic points, you know, how to make a part and how to, uh, you know, uh, create a CAD model in Abacus some basic points you will understand so this is a very useful video for beginners perspective so let's start with creating a plate I'm not taking any specific dimensions uh, the dimensions are just to demonstration purposes it might not be a realistic one so if you are uh, you know modeling for your purpose uh be ready with the realistic uh, model which are you know be be ready with the dimensions of the model which you are going to make so uh, i think it is clear that i am going to demonstrate on in this video with uh, some imaginary dimensions okay so let's create a part so i will go to the menu bar and create click on the part okay now click on create okay here you can name uh, your part so I will enter plate modeling space there are three options 3d 2d planner and XC symmetric because we are going to make a plate solid plate okay it's not a hollow plate it's solid plate I will be choosing 3D uh, because it can be deformed. In a Vegas, we are uh, assuming that we will perform in future that in future FEA. Okay, that is finite element analysis on that part which are we are making. So that we are assuming that that part is deformable. Any material uh, which are going to be used in that part. Uh, basically deforms in some way okay so i will choose deformable and because it is a solid so it's a solid and now there are three options sweep revolution and extrusion for to create a plate we will use extrusion okay uh, approximate size this is the basically uh, you know uh, this approximate size should be greater than the maximum size of the model okay let's say if, you, if the maximum length or maximum dimension of plate is 100 okay so you this uh, the approximate size you will choose 150 or 1200 this is basically uh, the, the the this is approximate size of the window okay so that your part you know is visible to the window so i i'm, I'm not changing it i will keep it 200 and i will click on continue now we have entered in the you know a sketch space now we will perform some sketches so to create a rectangle to to, to create uh you know a 3d plate we will use a rectangle so go to the rectangle menu and click on it single click now point somewhere uh, you know you can you can choose any any you can start from anywhere just click once and then drag okay so basically diagonally that one first point we have clicked now I'm not I'm not holding any button of the mouse okay now I'm dragging 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 and now I have reached to this point now I will click left click okay this creates rectangle okay so basically um, uh, what I have done I have click on this menu okay create lines rectangles okay and then left clicked on the first point dragged to the second point and then again left click this creates our you know uh, the, the rectangle 
okay now if you want to specify dimensions you can do that uh, to add a dimension click this this icon okay this is add dimension icon so click on that now you, you now you can select any entity okay if you notice here the abacus tells you what to do okay what to do next uh, uh, after clicking clicking a you know icon so select the entity to dimension entity what is entity entity is the lines or curves what are whatever is there in the sketch okay so i will select this line by clicking left click left button of the mouse okay i am going to left click on this line so i just left clicked and it turned red now i can drag left or right okay i dragged and then again left clicked so it is automatically showing you know 50 50 uh, height okay so now if you want to change the dimension new dimension is showing here on the you know uh, the instruction bar this is this is basically the instruction bar where the back is shows you what to do next okay so now here you can change the dimension let's say uh, you don't want 50 uh, let's say you want uh, 40 so I enter 40 now we'll ask what 40 is okay abacus doesn't understand units whatever it doesn't ask for any units okay so you have to keep in mind the units of the numbers you are entering in abacus in in whole time okay anything you do in abacus you have to keep in mind what are you the units you are using so you have to consistent in the unit yourself abacus will not care about unit okay if you if you mix up unit the results will be wrong and the full responsibility is yours not abacus okay so i have entered unit i ha i didn't have entered any unit only just numbers okay so numbers you can assume that this 40 is mm or this this 40 can can be you know meters so if you are using meters then whole time you have to be in meters okay if you are defining materials if you're defining you know uh boundary conditions or all that so any any force or something like that keep in mind that you have entered the length in meters so you have to be consistent in units not uh, abacus will not care about unit or not ask about units only numbers okay so please keep in mind and uh, you have to be very careful about units yourself abacus will ask only numbers okay so i have entered uh, 40 he here you can assume that this is a 40 mm or uh, 40 meters i am assuming this is this is i am just uh, demonstrating so i like to work in si units okay so basically i will be using major not mm if i have to uh, you know if if some dimension if some dimension is in mm and i'm entering it in uh, meters so i have to convert that basically let's let's say something is you know uh, let's say something is uh, 40 mm okay so i will enter here that means 0 0.04 meter so i like to use in uh, si units it's not really necessary to use si units you can choose your units just be consistent about the units for, uh, throughout the whole process okay so basically let's say i am using mm uh so 40 mm and uh, let's say uh, this is this is the height and this is the length okay uh, or i can say that that 40 mm is width and the 70 mm is uh, you know uh, length so what i have done again 
uh, the the click on the add dimension icon and then click on this line left click okay and drag that and it shows the dimension if you want to change it's change it to 80 okay so I have entered 80 and click on the enter and this is done so uh, a rectangle of, of uh, dimension 80 by 40 is ready and now I will click uh, because I am in the procedure of adding dimension and I don't need any more dimension so I will cancel this procedure from here okay notice that this uh, crossbar cross icon and if you hover your mouse pointer on that um, you know cross you will see a cancel process so I will click on that left click and I did so my adding dimension process has been cancelled and next thing is sketch the section for the solid extrusion okay so we have uh, gone back to the where we started okay now this is rectangle is completed and we will click on done okay now it's it, it is uh, asking for thickness or depth of the plate which you we are making so uh, the plate plate dimension width and uh, you know length is uh, uh, 40 by 80 so let's assume that this is uh, 5 or something you know 5 mm click on ok so this is the plate now the plate is ready okay now for because you are beginner how to rotate the this view this is the, the plate is uh, you know you are watching the plate so what you have to do hold control and alt okay on the keyboard and then click on left and you can drag your mouse you know in any direction to move this plate this is how you rotate the view or uh, in, in in the abacus okay this what you have to do is hold control and alt and then hold your left mouse button and drag it to rotate okay so this is how uh, this is how a plate is created